Hey there guys, so I'm back with a um, video. I actually did a test this morning and it came back negative with COVID so I beat it and got rid of the thing. So it's actually um, pissed off and come back where you come from so I'm really happy. I do have a lot of stuff here I want to show you. A bunch of CDs, vinyl and hoodie and stuff of my latest haul. <coughs> I've been eager to show you this video. I still have a bit of a cough and some runny nose and stuff but other than that it's virtually gone so i'll show you the um cds first i have quite a few six cds first one's a compilation it's actually a two cd compilation i got off amazon for something like five pound and it's thrash metal i do have the power metal compilation and i know there's a death metal and a um, black metal so at some point I will be picking those up and adding them to my collection but some of the stuff on there as you can see it's not fresh metal <coughs> <coughs> I wouldn't really class Halloween, Running Wild and Camelot as um fresh metal same as Skyclad so there's a couple on there which shouldn't be on their bands but I like Creator and there's quite a few on there that I've been meaning to check out, so for, for £5 I might as well get that and give it a proper listen. Next one is um, A Farewell to Kings, Rush. This is the 40th anniversary 2CD Deluxe Edition. You get a, with the extra, the two discs of the Hammersmith Odeon 20th of February 1978 concert. As a bonus with some covers. So it's four tracks that are um, covered, so Dream Theatre, Big Wreck, The Jews, The Trues, and Alain Johansson. So that's going to be interesting to um <coughs> check them covers out. Two disc edition. It's the Digi Pack edition, so can't wait to get into that. Do an unboxing video. The next one we have Revolution, which is a new studio on by walkings <coughs> their last album was absolutely fantastic and this album i just can't wait to um, get into it also the vinyls turn up so i'll show you that in a moment and i will be doing unboxing these very quickly so i can actually give the album a listen i've listened to i think it's like two tracks off um youtube so far off it and i pre-ordered it anyway because of walkings because i've got the majority of their back catalogue so just thought i pre-ordered the new album give it a listen can't wait to listen to it next one is train of thought instrumental demos 2003 from the last not forgotten archives and that's dream theater another one i do have thingy turning up i think it's um it's either late this month or the end of next month and it's the um them playing a whole of master of puppets 2002 i think it was in brazil or something where they played the whole album in full um cover of metallica master of puppets so i can't wait for that one to turn off and add that one to my collection. <coughs> this next one is the <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, the number of destiny. The new album by Embrace of Souls, another band I found on YouTube. The minute it said power metal, I went to pre-order it and I gave them, as I've said, three songs to listen. Really enjoyed them, so I thought, yep, grab that in my collection and give that a proper listen. Last CD is um the EPF Fellowship. I actually bought the bundle with the um I bought the beanie, the patch, and the um it's single slash EP. <coughs> I didn't get the T-shirt because I don't have none in my size left, which is a bit of a pain. But the singer uh, messaged me on Facebook and because I'm good friends with him and he's also on my parasymphonic group and he mentions that um, there'll be some more coming along soon, shirts, so I will be picking myself up a shirt, really can't wait, but the CP is absolutely fantastic, Blood, they were incredible at Bloodstock, getting to hear the glory days and glint was absolutely fantastic, so yeah, um, I've got to figure out where I'm going to put that patch, probably on my parasymphonic jacket, because I have parasymphonic 1 and 2, which is just full of all the bands that I've been to. I'll show you the hoodie first. This is one I, I traded off my flatmate. There's nothing on the back, but 
the front is cool and that is if you can see this apocalyptica which is cool don't have an apocalyptica hoodie so happy to get that one in my collection just give it a wash two vinyl for you first one is walkings revolution this one it doesn't say strictly limited which i thought it was so i'm not sure if it's colored or standard black because i can't remember which one i ordered off of amazon so i will be unboxing that and then we have the long-awaited new album firing is it firing um vanguard is a van vanagon i'm not going to pronounce that but gave these a listen off um they popped up and i thought these sound really interesting so i thought i'd grab their stuff and this is 180 gram back vinyl of first pressing limited to 500 copies worldwide silver and bronze print exclusive gatefold with inlay sheet 286 out of 500 which is cool so <coughs> can't wait to get into this and actually give it a um listen give it a spin what i heard i did really enjoy so thanks to um amazon i've discovered another band that i'm actually really enjoying at the moment so yeah that's my um latest haul um hope you guys enjoyed that video um remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because i've got a load of unboxing videos i've got to make up for the time that because i've not been posting much due to covid i just spent most of it in bed trying to recover so um me being sick and all that sort of stuff i thought it's best if i just don't um do any videos at the moment and i just um recover so i'm back now with more videos so got a hell of a lot of unboxing videos so i'll see you in the next one and take care stay safe